Welcome to the oil-rich world of the legendary television series that reshaped the landscape of primetime dramas. Dallas, born in 1978, brought intrigue, betrayal, and family feuds to living rooms across the globe. With its iconic characters and gripping storylines, the show wasn't just about ranches and oil, it was about power struggles, secrets, and the complexities of human relationships. Do you have a cherished memory linked to this iconic series? What keeps its legacy alive, making it an enduring symbol of the entertainment industry? Set against the backdrop of the Texas oil industry, Dallas unfolded the lives of the Ewing family, entangled in love, rivalry, and ambition. Notably, the Who Shot JR. Cliffhanger remains one of TV's most unforgettable moments, captivating millions worldwide. We'd love to hear your cherished memories or personal experiences tied to this classic series in the comments below. Share your stories and reminisce about the intrigue and drama that made Dallas unforgettable. In the late 70s seconds, television screens lit up with the arrival of a groundbreaking show called Dallas. This iconic series emerged from the minds of David Jacobs and aired as a primetime drama that swiftly captivated audiences. Set against the backdrop of the oil industry in Texas, Dallas revolved around the Ewing family, a wealthy clan entangled in a web of intrigue, power struggles, and familial conflicts. At its core, the show delved into the ruthless machinations within the family empire, led by the iconic J.R. Ewing, whose cunning and manipulative nature made him both a beloved and reviled character. The series boasted a unique style, weaving together elements of soap opera drama, intense rivalries, and a touch of glamour that kept viewers hooked week after week. Beyond J.R.'s magnetic presence, the show introduced a cast of memorable characters like Bobby, Sue Ellen, and Pam, each adding their own layers to the intricate narrative tapestry. The now infamous Who Shot J.R.? Cliffhanger from the second season finale became a cultural phenomenon, catapulting the show to even greater heights of popularity. Dallas left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing television storytelling and defining the archetype of the primetime soap opera. Its impact extended far beyond the small screen, making waves in fashion, inspiring fervent fan discussions, and becoming a topic of water cooler conversations across the globe. With its gripping storylines and unforgettable characters, Dallas secured its place as an enduring classic, leaving an everlasting imprint on television history. Three actors took turns playing the character Jenna Wade on the series. Morgan Fairchild, Francine Tacker, and Priscilla Presley each took a shot at portraying this role across different seasons. The character's evolution and the distinct interpretations by these actresses added depth to the show's narrative, showcasing various facets of Jenna Wade. Another intriguing tidbit is the iconic Who Shot J.R. Cliffhanger. Before revealing the shooter, multiple actors, including Charlene Tilton and Jim Davis, were filmed firing the gun for suspense. This gun, featured in the pivotal moment, now rests on display at the real South Fork Ranch site in Parker, Texas. These lesser-known facts add layers to the show's history, illustrating the depth of decision-making behind the scenes and the enduring artifacts left behind by its production. Each element, whether it's the portrayal of characters or the relics preserved from pivotal scenes, contributes to the rich legacy of the series. Larry Hagman's inventive thinking played a pivotal role behind the scenes of the iconic show. When actor Steve Connolly considered leaving due to his character's stagnant storyline, Hagman proposed a game-changing idea to reveal Ray Krebs as the illegitimate son of Jock Ewing. This narrative twist not only breathed new life into Connolly's role, but also added depth to the familial dynamics within the series. Hagman's creative solution ultimately secured Connolly's stay on the show, reshaping the trajectory of the character and storyline. This behind-the-scenes maneuvering showcased the collaborative efforts and creative problem-solving that shaped the show's evolution. Larry Hagman, a central figure in the show, confessed to battling alcoholism during the run of the series. His role as J.R. Ewing took a toll, leading him to consume up to five bottles of champagne a day. Surprisingly, Hagman managed to stay committed to his work without missing a single day or compromising a scene due to his drinking. His candid admission sheds light on the challenges faced behind the scenes, offering a glimpse into the personal struggles endured while maintaining professionalism on set. 
This aspect of the series' production highlights the dedication of its cast members despite personal battles, revealing a different layer to the story behind the show's success. Larry Hagman, a key figure in the series, shared a deep bond with Charlene Tilton long before their time on the show. Tilton, raised without her father and with a mother facing mental health challenges, found a surrogate father figure in Hagman. This connection extended beyond the screen, shaping their dynamic on set. Despite the fame of the series, these personal connections among the cast added a unique layer to the show's behind-the-scenes camaraderie, reflecting a different facet of their relationship beyond their on-screen roles. Arbora Belgeds, a consistent presence in nearly 300 episodes of the show, faced health challenges during the 1983-84 season, missing 11 episodes due to heart surgery. Her departure from the series that year stemmed from a salary dispute, leading to her replacement by Donna Reed. However, circumstances shifted following Patrick Duffy's exit in 1985, prompting producers to offer Belgeds a raise to reclaim her role. This move led to Reed's dismissal and subsequent legal action. Belgeds returned as Miss Ellie until 1990, marking a tumultuous period of departures, replacements, and legal entanglements within the show's cast. The dedication of episodes to actor Jim Davis, who succumbed to cancer in 1981, reflects the somber moments marking the series' history, paying homage to those who contributed significantly, both on and off-screen. Two sets were crucial for capturing the essence of the iconic ranch scene in the show. One was an actual ranch, the other a studio setup. Each season split between these locations, noticeable differences like the swimming pool design set them apart. As the seasons progressed, the shift between these two locales became a distinctive feature of the series' production. The ranch's matriarch, Miss Ellie, underwent a change in actors in 1984. When Barbara Belgeds departed, Larry Hagman proposed an intriguing solution his real-life mother, Mary Martin, stepping into the role. While this casting change didn't materialize, it sparked conversation about the show's direction and potential alternatives. In the show's early episodes, a controversial storyline unfolded between Lucy and Ray. Initially depicted as lovers, their connection became more complicated as the series progressed. However, as revelations emerged about their familial ties, this plotline was abruptly discarded, reworking the show's narrative. Each of these facets adds a unique layer to the intricate storytelling and behind-the-scenes decisions of the series, showcasing the dynamic evolution of the characters and the challenges faced in maintaining continuity and authenticity within the narrative. As we bid adieu, let's linger in the realm of reminiscence. The artistry of the series that encapsulated intrigue and family dynamics, weaving a narrative tapestry in a timeless era, beckons you. Reflect upon the interlaced lives, the feuds, the loyalty, and the ever-turning tides of fate that the enigmatic saga of 78 unfolded. Allow your memories to dance with the iconic characters, their scheming ambitions, their triumphs, and Hardishess inviting you to introspect, to unearth your profound connection with this enigmatic tale. Whether you found solace in the sprawling Texas landscapes or were entangled in the web of power plays, let these recollections spark conversation. Share your musings, your anecdotes, the moments that linger like whispers in the wind. Engage in the dialogue of nostalgia, weaving a collective tapestry of memories that continue to resonate across time. Thank you for indulging in this moment of reflection, for sharing the essence of your connection with this epochal series, revealing the threads that bind us through the chapters of our lives. Your stories enrich the legacy, keeping the spirit of 78 alive in our collective consciousness.